And my name is Deb Geisler. And I'm Stephen Bowser. And um, obviously, he's not from around here. <laughs> I thought he was. But actually, that's not quite true. My PhD is from Southern Illinois University in Carbondale, so I'm actually sort of from around here. But I'm a Cardinals fan. It makes me kind of dangerous. Yeah. So um, we will be the moderators for this evening for both the SMOFCON bids and the WorldCon bids. We uh, obviously do not have a NASPIC bid. We have a seated NASPIC, which gave its presentation this morning, or this afternoon, earlier. And um, so we, but we have a bunch of SMOFCON bids and a bunch of WorldCon bids to get through tonight. Um, our intention is to go like this. First, we will ask the bidder for 2017 for SMOFCON, and the only bid I have registered is for Boston in 2017. And we will ask them to give their presentation. Um, uh, unless there is a contested bid, then we will immediately vote on the bid. Uh, we do not see any real need to do anything other than a voice vote, a hand, a hand vote. Um, and unless it gets very strange. <laughs> and then I'm looking at the audience and thinking, very strange. <laughs> and, uh, and then we will um, uh, uh, let the, uh, the newly seated SMOFCON make a very brief statement of how much, and um, Mark Olson can try to throw them his check first. <laughs> um, no, it wouldn't happen. Okay. Oh, that's right, your boss may have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we will talk to the rest of the SMOFCON bids, which we, we actually have quite a number of potential SMOFCON, uh, SMOFCONs upcoming, which is kind of strange, but there you go. And then we will have a break, and you can all break for the bar, which is now open in the con suite. Grab yourself some alcoholic, um, um, substantial um, um, courage, and then we will dive into the WorldCon bids. Okay. Um, a couple of notes. We have our friends from the south, uh, the southern hemisphere, who are going to be piped in by Skype. I have no. Does anybody know what time it is there? Plus 16. What? Plus 16. What, did you say tomorrow? <laughs> plus 16. Plus 16. Thank you. That doesn't tell me what freaking like time it is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's about noon tomorrow, so we'll find out what tomorrow's like from the, from the South Coast. Um, and so they'll be, um, uh, they, they will potentially be piping in questions. We also have uh, Helen Murray. Helen, and who's your friend? Alyssa. And, and Melissa? Alyssa. Alyssa. Sorry, Alyssa. And they have sharp objects, which are called pencils, Great and little thing. cards. And they will happily hand you one so you can write down questions. We will not be taking questions orally from the audience. So if you have a question, write it down, wave your hand, and they will stop and pick it up. And they'll bring it up to us, and if we decide that it's not a silly question, then we might ask it. If we decide it's really stupid, we may ask it and point out who actually said it. <laughs> Um, see, he's much meaner than I am. He just thought, didn't you? Um, and so, and then we will finish uh, sometime, we hope, today. Okay? Um, so, uh, do I have representatives from the 2017 SMOFCON bid? This is uh, Boston in 2017. And that would be someplace in Massachusetts, my understanding is. It's a tad smoky there right now. Uh, yeah, if, if you wish to do presentations, if you, you're, uh, you're quite welcome to, to sit. If you wish to stand and, uh, and, and use microphones, we ask that you stand immediately in front of the table just to make it easier. Kevin Stanley will be uh, taping uh, so that we have permanent documentation of this for a variety of things. Is this okay, Kevin? You're good. Are we okay? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, and I would ask you please to use the microphones. Can you hear me? I no. Oh, Let me do this again, Lori. I would yes. ask you, please. No, 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 no. no. Just please use it right now. There you go. <laughs> so Stephen will be timing our bids and uh, and bidders, and when we tell you to stop, that means your time is up. Okay? And you will stop. Really, you will stop. All right. 
Thank you. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Lori Mann, and I'm here to present for the um, MCFI Boston in 2017 Small Con bid. Shit, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, 30 years ago, we tried to bring a small con to Boston. Please. Sorry? 30 years ago, we tried to bring a small con to Boston. Due to hotel costs, the closest we could get was Lowell, Massachusetts. We tried again in 1997, and we found a spot in Boston, in neighborhood, in Alston, which was very nice, but that wasn't downtown Boston either. We tried again in 2007, and we landed at the airport. But now, we're finally in downtown Boston at the Boston Back Bay, which is across the street from the Sheridan Boston home of many Maurice Cons and Boscos. Okay, here's our good details. December 1st to 3rd, Hilton Back Bay, tea ride from the airport, across the street from the Sheridan, the Hines, and the Prudential Center Mall. pre rate would be 50 bucks for the end of February. Enchanter has negotiated a preliminary agreement. So if um, we are voted on, we will have rates of 149 single double, 159, sorry, 169 triple, 189 quad. It's a newer hotel, so it's, well, 40 years old or so. 88 compliant, restaurant and bar, and a nice indoor pool. Um, the function space is all on the second floor. It's been fairly recently renovated. It's very nice. There'll be plenty of spaces for program items, for panel, uh, for um, workshops, and also for the ever popular statistics and probability. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our concert will be up on the 26th floor. It'll have a parlor, a couple of side rooms, and depending on the number of members, probably other side rooms as well. Things to know about Boston in December. The temperature is between 34 and maybe 50. We don't tend to have a lot of blizzards that time of year. But we're in the back bay of Boston. We have hundreds of world-class restaurants within a mile or so. A great variety, all price le levels too. So it's not just expensive, there's inexpensive stuff as well. In addition, <laughs> this hotel is within one block of an excellent liquor store, Bauer Liquor, within two, three blocks of Trader Joe's, and within four blocks of a star market, and they're all open on Sunday. <laughs> it's easy to get to Boston. You can fly, you can drive, you can take a train, you can take a bus. Um, there's uh, excellent tea service all over town, and it's also a major Amtrak station as well. Okay, our theme. Our theme is applying lessons learned. We learn a lot every time we run a convention. Time. Here you go. Anyway, thank you. Ready? So, con suite, corkage, the, the, the big ones. How are you set up for con suite? What's the, the situation for food? What's your alcohol situation like that? Do you want to answer? Do you want to answer? Me. Um, so, uh, it is notorious in the Northeast that uh, sometimes there are issues with certain adult beverages. Otherwise, however, um, there, the hotels have a sort of don't ask, don't tell policy around that. We do have uh, a, in our contract, which is negotiated and ready to sign should we win, uh, have a uh, corkage and non-alcoholic beverage waiver. Um, we also do plan on the second floor on Friday and Saturday night to have a cash bar and probably some snacks as well. And your con suite, is that set up to start prior to SmothCon or are you not keeping uh, we are, it? Will, we are, it is set up to be checked in on Thursday and checked out on Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, so, why do you want to run a spot, huh? Well, we've never brought one to Boston. We've tried. <laughs> you know, so I'd like to run one in the downtown area when we have a time to go and enjoy the city and not just be running a world con or something like that. So that's really my reason. Live my life. I work on <laughs> you might enjoy it too, Deb, you know? Uh, to, what area of convention running do you think needs to be the focus of this event? Well, we'll have a variety of items. I do think the idea of what have we learned at this convention that we can carry on and fix in future conventions is kind of a chronic problem. Um, we often observe many problems and then we observe them again. And we observe them yet again and they don't get fixed. 
and we'd like to try to fix that if possible. Okay. Um, your situation for um, for transport at the moment. Um, Actually, sorry, no, that's not the question I wanted to ask you. The question I wanted to ask you was, so on the December the 15th, I understand marijuana becomes illegal in the um, state. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what is your other smoking policy? <laughs> well, the hotel is non-smoking. Um, I don't know what the rules would be about non-smoked forms, and I'm sure the hotel will be happy to tell us. I'm actually pretty sure that the hotel has a non-smoking policy, but as long as things don't leave people's private hotel rooms, the hotel doesn't care. Um, but I think most of the ho no, the hotel rooms are non-smoking though. So yes, yes, that's not what right. I meant. Okay. You can always eat it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Like, there is still some things in Massachusetts to be worked out about that. I don't know. I'm not part of the legislature. Do you, do you, I, one of the questions that was asked this morning at bidders uh, this afternoon, early this afternoon was given the uh, recent political turmoil, do you expect impacts, especially from those who typically join us internationally? Um, I did hear from at least one person who's international today that they would not plan to go to any American conventions after um, January 1st. So it may have a slight impact. I don't think it would be a severe impact in terms of, you know, Americans who would come. Well, no. That's why I asked about specifically international. I'm sure there will be a slight impact on that. Yeah. Are you looking to address any of that by um, either streaming sessions or hookups outside the U.S., that sort of thing? It's possible if we can afford to do so. And uh, to what extent are you, are you going to involve a lot of local con runners in what you're doing? I, I know that MCFI has typically been fed by two of the larger organizations, but some of the folks here don't know about your vanish structure. Um, one thing I would have said was we already have an email address set up, um, smothcon35 at mcfi.org. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, volunteer to help. We're very happy to hear from you if we do win this bid. I, I think you missed my point. Oh, sorry. My point was local to, to what local organizations, as in not local to here, but local to Boston, will be working on the event besides okay. MCFI. While it's sponsored by MCFI, other groups will be invited and encouraged to attend and to help. Like what groups? Oh, are? sorry. They're just like the <laughs> team, man. Okay. Say I NESPA. Our NESPA, Arisha, you know, the whole... I think what we are planning on doing, doing some outreach to other local groups, and we have not gotten quite that far in our planning yet, but there is, there is certainly our intent. And there is it because there is a rich Spanish uh, culture and convention scene in Boston, and that is some of why we want to bring SMOP combat. Uh, were there any written questions? Mm -hmm. Let's go to the vote then. Um, may I see a show of hands, please, of those who are in favor of meeting this time again next year, well, at least on December 1st next year in Boston. Oh, that looks pretty good. And yeah, are there any opposed? Okay, so, so three people, especially one of whom is from Phoenix and doesn't understand ice and snow. <laughs> But I see that the, the, those in favor um, are, are certainly in the majority, the super majority. And thank you very much. We will be meeting in Boston. So, Lori, you talked about how people can pay you and make that if you, brief, if you would. Certainly. Uh, we will have forms shortly. Um, I don't think Sharon's in the room. I think Sharon. Oh, she is here. Yay. We have forms. We will have a table in the comp suite a little bit later. We will have an online form available to, uh, in a little bit for PayPal. But we will also have a credit card machine in the comp suite a little later tonight. We're happy to take your money in any way you want to give it to us. And, and, uh, is, there, is there an availability online as well? Yes, there will be. Because yeah. we have the South Continent that we're dealing with. Yes. Um, you can go to mcfi.org slash smopcon35. And uh, it's not there yet, but in the next 10 minutes, there will be a form there. <laughs> Magically. Magically, yes. Without any fuss. Thank you very much. And thank you all.